With its origins dating back to 1877, Wimbledon stands as the oldest tennis tournament in the world. Wimbledon's unparalleled combination of prestige, grass court majesty, top-tier player lineup, classic rivalries, and global tradition makes it the ultimate tennis showcase. Join us as we explore the legacy of Wimbledon, an unrivaled stage where legends are born, history is made, and the beauty of tennis is brought to its zenith. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, do that and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any tennis updates from us. Wimbledon, often hailed as the epitome of tennis excellence, has earned its reputation as the ultimate tennis showcase. This esteemed tournament has become an international icon in the world of tennis, captivating fans from across the globe. Taking place in late June and early July, Wimbledon holds a special place among the four Grand Slam events standing as the only tournament that maintains the timeless tradition of natural grass courts. As players step onto the meticulously maintained turf, they enter a realm of elegance and grace, where the subtle nuances of the surface demand mastery and finesse. Do you know which finals match made history at Wimbledon? If yes, leave your answers in the comments. The inaugural championship took place on the croquet lawns of the All England Croquet and Lawn Tennis Club which later transformed into the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club in 1882. Nestled in the picturesque district of Wimbledon, this prestigious venue has been the backdrop for thrilling matches since the tournament's inception in 1877. Do you have a number for the prize money? Hint, it's huge! Here, look on your screen for the prize money of Wimbledon winners since 1968. Just ahead of the championships, the Wimbledon qualifying competition takes center stage. This thrilling event features a gentlemen's and ladies' singles competitions, where players vie for the coveted final main draw spots in the championships. To earn a place in the main draw, participants embark on a fierce knockout tournament, where they must triumph in every match over three rounds to secure one of the 16 coveted spots in each of the gentlemen's and ladies' draws, earning their chance to compete in the prestigious Wimbledon tournament. One of Wimbledon's most notable traditions is the players' dress code which mandates that they wear predominantly white attire. This rule has been in place since the early years of the tournament and is steeped in tradition and elegance. The aim is to maintain a certain decorum and uphold the tournament's refined image, harkening back to the sport's heritage. But does that mean that the players don't get to experiment with outfits? Absolutely not! Several iconic outfits have graced the course of Wimbledon over the years. Italian player Leah exuded 60s chic with a ruffled white mini dress adorned with roses, paired with a chunky white headband designed by Teddy Tinling. Anna White from the U.S. turned heads in 1985 with a jaw-dropping white lycra one-piece accompanied by a navy paisley print headband. Maria made a statement in the 2005 semifinal match against Venus Williams, wearing a Nike dress with vibrant orange and green detailing and the low hem pleated skirt. Andre's rebellious personality clashed with Wimbledon's strict dress code, but he managed to win the tournament in 1992. Rafael Nadal's debut in 2005 with his sleeveless t-shirt and capri pants deviated from British taste and etiquette, but he continued to wear similar outfits in subsequent years, leaving his mark on the prestigious tournament. Wimbledon features multiple courts, but the crown jewel is undeniably center court. Known for its impressive capacity and iconic retractable roof, center court showcases the most high-profile matches, including the gentlemen's and ladies' singles finals. The court's rich history and electrifying atmosphere make it a favorite among players and spectators alike. Winning Wimbledon is not an easy play, but some players have proved that they own the championship. The 1980 men's singles final between Bjorn Borg and John McEnroe is often regarded as one of the greatest matches in tennis history. It was a five-set thriller that saw Borg winning his fifth consecutive Wimbledon title, defeating McEnroe, in a match that included a memorable fourth-set tiebreak. Swiss maestro Roger Federer holds the record for most men's singles titles at SW19 with eight victories. From his first win in 2003 to his most recent in 2017, Federer's dominance at Wimbledon is unparalleled. Pete Sampras, Novak Djokovic, and Bjorn Borg have seven wins each. Martina Navratilova holds the record for the most women's singles titles in the Open era at Wimbledon, with nine victories. Steffi Graf and Serena Williams have both secured seven championships. Navratilova's remarkable achievement remains unmatched, setting an extraordinary standard in women's tennis. 
Wimbledon 2022 was an ultimate showdown, with Serbian Novak Djokovic and Kazakhstan's Elena Rybakina winning the titles. While it was the seventh Wimbledon title for Djokovic, Rybakina, 19, became the youngest female player to win the title since Petra Kvitova. The current winners for the 2023 men's single is Carlos Alcaraz, and the women's single is Marketa Vandrasova. Carlos Alcaraz achieved an impressive feat at Wimbledon, winning his first title and ending Novak Djokovic's decade-long finals dominance. Despite being the underdog, Elkaraz staged a thrilling comeback against the favored Djokovic. Fans are already anticipating his future matches. Who are you rooting for next year? Let us know in the comments. Like this video if you learned something new about Wimbledon, and subscribe if you haven't already.